ratings are in. And you got swamped. Wow. Now you're in the thirties. But what do you expect? I mean, when you take away after school programs from children and meals and wheels from the poor people, that's not what you call making America great again. Come on. I mean, who is advising you? Your dad and President Trump got into a bit of a Twitter war. As his daughter, is that hard for you not to just step in when things like that happen? Uh, I mean, I usually do step in. I'm like very territorial and protective of my family members. So when anybody is in a situation like that, I do get protective. But I think my dad did such an incredible job at rebuttaling every single time. And my main concern is uh, the fact that the president of our country has the time to get and engage in a Twitter war with my father is more concerning to me than anything. But I honestly think that my dad did such an incredible job at responding and his latest video to me was so great and I think just was what was on the minds of a lot of people so I think it's it's great. And Catherine Schwarzenegger is not afraid to stand up for her father. The New York Times bestselling author stopped by People Now to promote her new children's book Maverick and Me which encourages young children to adopt don't shop for their pets. Catherine's parents, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Maria Shriver, are also animal lovers. The 27-year-old opened up about what it was like growing up in the spotlight. Now hanging out with her father's famous friends were just normal occurrences. Watch this. We don't view them, like my siblings and I don't view them as big names as much as they are just friends of our parents. Um, so we grew up like that, but it felt very normal for all of us because my parents raised the four of us kids to have a very normal upbringing and a normal childhood. And I feel like we really had that. So it wasn't like a showy or flashy thing. We didn't go to red carpet things all the time. We had a very normal childhood, except for some random friends <laughs> that were bigger deals than others. <laughs> You've been a fantastic enemy and a better friend. That's all I can say, bro. I mean, it was just awesome to see all my dad's friends together and just to see, you know, my dad living life to his fullest and just being in such incredible shape at his age. He looks like he's so much younger than he is. So, I mean, it was it was a great party. He fills it with animals and everything at every single one of his parties. He has all these exotic animals come, so it was Oh, fun. really? Yeah. Wait, what kind of animals? He, this year he had um, a kangaroo, he had uh, little sea otters, parrots. Both my parents are obsessed with animals, so it explains a lot as to why I'm doing this with yeah. my book. Yeah. <laughs>